Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and the AMD RX 6700 XT is out. A lot of the day one reviews from the tech tubers were already released uh, yesterday, um, but as to, of timing of filming, you know, the performance that we've seen on these charts for gaming uh, really puts it in that 1440p range, okay kind of card. It's really uh, lackluster and just quite frankly underwhelming uh, of a GPU performance. And while AMD has no quarrel with the miners, an ant has no quarrel with the boot. What does that mean for mining performance? Well, let's get into it. First off, uh, this GPU, just like the 6800 and 60, uh, 6800 XT, 6900 XT, the reference model is is really a beautiful card. Um, it gets the job done as far as thermals but we want to know more about the performance. Well, first let's talk about what AMD mentioned. In a meeting with uh, Steve from Gamers Nexus and uh, a, bit, a number of other media outlets in the TechTuber space, one of the questions that came up was, are you going to be implementing anything that's going to mitigate the miners, like a, a lock, like the RTX 3060, which by the way, Brandon Coyne, his, uh, the team that he has in Discord, myself and a number of others have already done videos on uh, providing that information to everybody. NVIDIA try to take the drivers down, but we have it spread out uh, everywhere so you can get it. it. Links are in the video descriptions. Uh, not this video, but check the channel and you'll find it. I also have posted on Twitter everywhere I could to make sure the community has that, even though NVIDIA took it down. But AMD has no quarrel with the miners, so they're not doing anything, right? So they're, they're not putting any type of lock on this GPU. However, there is a different way that they can mitigate the miners or the, the 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 need or the want that the miners have of a particular gpu because really in the past i was actually very happy when when, when we were talking about the 6800 6800 xt uh i told savage mine hey man you know i'm not really too happy with the 6800 6800 xt you know compared to the 5700s uh you know it's not the performance isn't there right but amd is not artificial limiting us in any form or fashion um instead though let me read this excerpt to you. So RDNA was designed from the ground up for gaming, and RDNA 2 doubles up on this. During a uh, Radeon RX 6700 XT pre-briefing, which I believe is what most of them were in, Infinity Cache and similar bus whiff were carefully chosen to hit a very specific gaming hit rate. Mining specifically scales with higher bandwidth and bus whiff. So they are going to be limitations from an architectural level for mining. So there's no driver bypass, no BIOS bypass, no nothing. It's the architectural level that limits us, okay? So this card does have 12 gigabytes of memory. It's a good 1440p gaming card. But from the mining perspective, there's a couple things here uh, that, you know, originally when I made that, that statement of, I think the 6700 is going to be a great card to mine with, I take that all back. Because look at the memory bus and the bandwidth. They handicapped it. And they did that on purpose to try to mitigate the miners. And I understand gamers are upset at the miners because the miners are buying all their GPUs. Well, I, I, I understand that maybe large operations may be buying, you know, bulk orders of GPUs. But the at-home miners, the mid-scale miners, you know, we're having to fight just like the gamers to get these GPUs. And it's not easy. Because the bots and the scalpers win. I mean, within... A few minutes of these GPUs being available to buy on AMD.com, which said they were going to release slowly. Um, New Newegg had to shuffle. Within minutes of, of the release, these GPUs are already being sold, and they're crazy prices. I mean, two, $2,200, This is ridiculous. And I posted about this on my Twitter page. Um, and they're not going to go away. The bots and scalpers are not going to go away because... Those individuals who used to uh, farm, so to speak, uh, limited edition apparel, Nike, Supreme, or whatever limited edition items they were, uh, would buy all the stock and then mark up the price and sell it on the, on the secondhand market uh, through Shopify or whatever other stores and avenues. Well, this is another avenue for them to make an additional and especially a lot of money because look at the msrp the msrp of these gpus now i know new Wake had it like some models for like six something 679 and and 550 or something like that and this one's uh the the reference should be around 479 but look at the prices they're making 
you know, we, we say 500 even, they're making anywhere from $500 profit to, you know, six, eight, maybe a thousand on top of what they like, because people are, are not crazy enough. I don't want to talk ill of the individuals that are buying these GPUs, but they should not. They should not. The, the GPU that itself is not that important to you that you have to pay an exorbitant amount of money to get it. So it's not just the miners, okay? It's not primarily the miners either. It's the bots and the scalpers because I know you see it just as much as I do, gamers. When you go to check out, you can't even do it. You can't even do it because the website's being hit so hard and so fast by these automated bots. It, we can't beat it unless we get a bot ourselves. And some gamers have even turned to it. Um, so you're going to be mad at your own type of people because I don't know any miners, at least at, at my level, that is doing this. Um, the memory bus is only 192. If that was 256 bit, this GPU would have hit the levels that I was speculating back when I was talking to Savage Mine on the past episode. The bandwidth is also lower compared to the 5700. So it's 384 versus 448. Now, yes, you can get that 384 a little bit higher with some uh, overclocking and stuff like that, but it's super limited because of the bus and bandwidth. So AMD doesn't have to put a lock. They don't have to lock the BIOS, lock the drivers. They don't have to do anything crazy because they already know when it comes to AMD drivers, uh, AMD's well known for some type of mod of some type happening every generation uh, that allows us to unlock the full potential of these GPUs. But the more power tool, even right now with the 6800 that I have in this system, I'm still unable to fully utilize it. When I try to implement or, or supersede the limitations, I wind up handicapping the card even more. But there was something else that was changed this GPU. They added RT cores. So they're trying to compete with Nvidia and add ray tracing cores. Had they not done this, because the 5700, if you look here, does not have it, right? It's the same compute units at the 5700 XT. Biggest difference is obviously the memory bandwidth dropped from 256 to 192, or excuse me, the memory bus from 256 to 192, and the bandwidth from 448 to 384. But then the space that they had to include to add 40 RT cores could have been used for compute units. Maybe we could have got up to 60 compute units or whatever, but that would have increased the potential of this GPU being a good, uh, profitable GPU for mining cryptocurrency. So while AMD has no quarrel with the miners, they serve so much as scratch that glass. You get how that works? And Boots. the miners, they certainly know how to mitigate the need or the want that the miners or the demand there you go the demand that the miners would have had look at this performance right so this is 43 mega hash now there's no tuning or anything uh the memory is is stock uh maybe we could go up to just like the 6800 uh you know 2150 and and get up to let's say 48 47 48 mega hash if we did some tuning, that wattage is really high, 172. Maybe we could get it down to like 120, 135, somewhere in there. Uh, it still, it still wouldn't be as uh, great a car. Let's let's just do some math real quick. So let's say we're getting 47 mega hash at 135, 0.34, 0.34. When when on the 5700 XT. Right, and even though here on the article it says 54.3 stock, I was getting about 51, 52 in the cards that I tested. But with the more power tool or the mem mod, we could get up to 58, 56, somewhere in there. Some GPUs can even get 62 uh, in rare instances. So those cards are really profitable. Um, but if we even just take the the let's say 54 um, and we divide it and get down to like you know 125.43, so. The 5700 XT, even though it's the older card, is the better card when it comes to performance and mining. The 6800, uh, the highest I could get mine is 64 mega hash, which isn't so much, you know, maybe like six to, to eight mega hash more than the 5700 series. And I mentioned in the past, I would rather get the 5700 series than the 6000 series. And that's because, you know, they got a lot of pressure on them. Uh, AMD's got a lot of pressure on them, you know, because the gamers are really upset 
and they, they all they're being told is that the miners are getting all their GPUs when it's not 100% true. Yes, the miners are partaking in getting the GPUs, but they're not the reason why the prices are so inflated. They're not the primary reason why the price is so inflated. Uh, it's 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 not true, but it keeps being told, and more and more uh, anger is being spread. Now, this is Ravencoin on the screen. Ravencoin is 22.68 mega hash. Again, stock, it looks like. No tuning or anything like that. Under 86 watts. Uh, you know, that's basically in the ballpark of not the 3060 Ti. Because you see the 3060 Ti was getting 27 mega hash, uh, while this is only getting like 22.7. Um, it's not in the ballpark of the 5700 XT. Um, well, I mean, it is on Kapow, but it's not in uh, ETH hash. Uh, so it's really that, that memory bus and that bandwidth that's the handicap of this GPU. Uh, so it's basically like a 3060. So even though this GPU, from a gaming perspective, I believe is supposed to compete with the 3060 Ti, right? And, and, and compete with the, 30, the 2080 Super, it's really a 3060 when it comes to mining performance, if you were even able to uh, fully unlock the GPU, um, to, be, to be completely honest with you. Um, but what's going to happen in the future? Personally, I think AMD wasted stock building this GPU when they could have just released more stock in the 6800, 6800 XT, 6900 XT. Uh, but this is a decent 1440p card. And if you look at some of the tech reviewers out there or some of the tech videos that's been released from the tech tubers, uh, they're not too enthralled with this GPU either. So where would this GPU fit? Well, if you're just a at-home individual, you game every once in a while, and you wanna mine when you're not gaming, this card might fit for you, right? If you can get it around the MSRP. I mean, don't go spending $1,000 on a card like this, but if you can get around $500, then I would say go for it. But if you wanted to build an entire mining rig out of these GPUs, I would not, 100%, I would not recommend it. It's a waste of money. I know GPUs are hard to come by no matter what, but if you can get the older generation 5700 series because you really want AMD, that's the route I would go. That's what I would recommend. But good luck to you because as soon as they came available, they were already sold on the secondhand market for crazy amounts of money, and there's nothing that we can do about it because individuals are out there buying these setting that incentive for these bots and scalpers to continue to do so until supply overwhelms the bots and scalpers and they can't buy so much they can't buy the all the stock this is not going to get any better like they literally need to flood the market with gpus to where the bots and scalpers run out of money and they can't buy anymore and then they're going to be forced the bots and scalpers are going to be forced to resell at a lower price which is going to be good in the future because the secondhand market is going to be flooded with gpus but for right now, getting a GPU is, is few and far between. But um, do me a favor, guys. Definitely check out dogelord.com, where you can get a shirt like this from my collection, down below in the description. Definitely check out the video, uh, how to unlock the 3060. I had Crypto McKellar on, on with me on one live stream. Uh, the links are in the description. And then I had another video, short, like 30-minute 30, 30 live stream, showing the performance of it. Uh, it's on Twitter, it's on Reddit, it's on BossCoin Talk. Everywhere I can get the drivers to you guys, it's out there. Um, let me know what your thoughts are about the 6700 XT down below in the comments. Definitely hit the like button on the way out. I appreciate your support. Subscribe for more content like this if you're new. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. You take care of yourselves, all right? Mm -hmm.